good morning. Oh, my hair. It's, it's gonna rain today, so. <laughs> Any other curly haired folk out there? Sorry, I'm just gonna angle you down a little bit. You understand the struggle. But anyways, today I need to cut the chit chat because I am running late. What else is new? Nothing, nothing is ever new except for these lip products. These are the new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. I got two of the shades. I picked these up at Walgreens. So I'm so happy I was able to get buy one get one 50% off on Revlon products. And then I had Walgreens points on top of that. So for these, I think I ended up paying like 50 cents or a dollar for both of them, so woohoo! Originally, I think they're like eight bucks, like $7.99 or something. I got the shades Seduction and Addiction, so number 630 and number 610. Let's go onto the website and read a little bit about these real quick. Lightweight, high definition, velvety matte color, moisturizing, velvety feel, 100% wax-free gel formula and there are eight shades available. So, that was short and sweet. All right, great. <laughs> I'm excited to try these out. The couple of reviews that I have seen on them, they're not matte. I guess we will see, but not much else to say other than I'm really excited to give these a shot today. So let's go ahead and put these on my lips, shall we? Yes. All right, so I've got nothing on my lips at the moment, just a little bit of residual lip balm, but for the most part, they are ultra naked and ready for some ultra HD. How was that, guys? How was that? I don't know which one to wear. Which one should I wear? Berry or nude? Let's start off with the nude, shall we? Packaging of these, I quite like it. Thin oval shape, and it's got like the frosted plastic on the bottom and a silver topper. And let's see what the applicator looks like. Oh cool, it looks really similar to the Urban Decay Naked Concealer in that it is skinnier at the top and then tapers into a fatter base. It's got that oval shape to it again. It's got a mix between a cough syrup and a sugary vanilla smell. Interesting. <laughs> if that gets any better but so many people have been talking about this color seduction and how it's like perfect so i'm excited to see it it's perfect. i mean it's really nude There's seduction. It took a couple dips in the tube, but here's the color on me. You can see it's a little bit streaky. And there it is from far away. It is a nice nude color. It's like a toffee with like a hint of peach undertone in it. It's nice. You can see, I mean, there's a gloss on here for sure. We'll see if that dries down at all. But it did go on really comfortably. It took a couple dips to get full opacity. I don't know if that's because the shade is a lighter shade and it's close-ish to my natural lip color, but it did go on really smooth. It does feel like it's gonna be moisturizing and it doesn't feel plush, but it's a bit, it feels like a gel, I guess, but not like a liquidy gel. It feels like a lipstick, except, dare I say, better than a lipstick? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I definitely haven't tried out a texture like this before on my lips, and I have tried out a lot of lip products. So for now, I guess that's all we can really do is just wait and see how this ends up wearing on me. I've just got to go to the dermatologist today, and I'm having lunch with my mom because the dermatologist's office is pretty close to where my mom works, and then I just have to run a couple errands, and then coming home probably editing videos and yeah welcome to my very exciting life I'm glad you guys enjoy coming along I'm gonna get going I need to skedaddle I'm actually on time now that I like kind of sped through that intro there it is currently 10 17 in the morning I will just check in with you all probably I'll show you what the lip product looks like right before lunch and then I'll also show you what it looks like after lunch and then we will swatch the berry one as well this afternoon. So I will just see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye.
home for all my errands and everything. Can you see the red through my sweater? I got my flu shot and dermatologist and my lunch with my mom and all of the good things that I needed to do this afternoon. Hey, and after this, I get to cuddle with my man. My oh. Anyways, clearly this did not last through lunch. I was not expecting it to, you know, when you're eating a veggie burger, no lipstick. That would be silly to expect that from a like gel lipstick. This did seem to dry down, but not in the matte sense. It's really weird to describe. I really have never tried anything like this on my lips. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to describe it to you guys and I feel badly, but my description skills are not up to par right now for these. Sorry, I know. It's like hot outside again. I'm confused. It's like 65 degrees and I'm like, I thought it was fall. No? Okay. now which one is this addiction yes number 610 addiction it's a very standard plum berry color like a raspberry i love these kind of colors so this is a welcome addition here in my home like i said i'm gonna be leaving this one on my lips for the rest of the day i think it'll be easier to kind of see how it's wearing since the other one is quite close to my lip color so whew, there Oh, sun. This one does feel in texture and everything exactly like the lighter color, so I do think, considering this one is very light in the line of colors and this one is one of the darker shades, I mean, I'm saying I think it's a safe bet, but I'm betting. I don't know for sure that the formula is consistent throughout the line. You know, some lipsticks and whatnot, it's like the lighter colors will be absolutely terrible, but the dark colors will perform excellently, or vice versa, or whatever. But these both seem to be good, at least these two colors, so that's nice to see. They hit the nail on the head with calling it a gel in that it feels like a mix between a lipstick and like kind of a tacky thick lip gloss, but more on the lipstick side. It's just got a little bit of that tack from the gloss that's in it, and I think that's really, really comfortable on the lips. It really has been moisturizing all day, and my lips have been feeling so dry lately because of the weather. It doesn't accentuate any of the drier parts of my lips, at least not so far. I just think because it has that tack or that stick to it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be slip sliding around on your face. So that's awesome when you're just sitting. You can't even tell you have anything on your lips. It is very, very comfortable. The only time you can tell that there's something on your lips is when you rub them together. So that's about it for now. I'm not really doing anything tonight. Like I said, I'm probably just going to be getting some editing done and just little things like that. It is currently 3.17 in the afternoon, but I will be sure to keep this on throughout the day and I will check in with you kind of in an insert clip in the montage or whatever after dinner. We'll see how it hung in. Oh, Overall, I guess I will just see you guys very soon. Bye! just about quarter after 11 in the evening. In a dramatic turn of events, I don't feel good. After I got done filming this afternoon, I like sat down and started importing the footage and stuff into my computer. And then all of a sudden I was like, I don't feel so well. And then I like 
passed out and by passed out I mean I, I took a nap. <laughs> Naps for me are usually like a half an hour at least I mean I haven't taken a nap since like my school days which you know really weren't that long ago but you know a half hour and I'm usually back up and at them. Well I fell asleep for like an hour woke up just like mm, I don't know I no one needs to hear this. So yeah, I've just been kind of trying to relax and edit tonight, so I haven't been doing anything too crazy. I basically ate baby food for dinner, I mean. <laughs> I know I showed it in a clip, but I just had some mushed up squash. But still, I've been trying to stay hydrated, and you can see that this stuff definitely transfers. I mean, it even got a lid here. <laughs> but yet, it stays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can tell in the close-up here that it does kind of gather, so if you have really dry lips or flaky bits, it's not going to work out well with this lipstick. You're going to want to exfoliate beforehand, but this was a layered application. I think it layered really well on top of itself. I think the wear is good. I don't think you should go into this expecting to get a matte lipstick. I mean, how is this matte? It's not. It's not. It has a matte feeling to it in the sense that once it does dry down which you know it does take about an hour and a half two hours for this to finally like get to its dried down stage and even then it's got that little bit of a gloss to it but it's it's not tacky but you can tell that it feels like it's on there you know it's not gonna go anywhere I really think this formula is really unique I think it's one of those things that you're just gonna have to test out and see if you personally like it or not I can really see it being a hit or miss kind of a feeling on the lips for people initially it does take on some of the taste or smell or whatever which isn't my favorite like I said earlier it's kind of like that synthetic fruity but it's also got a bit of a vanilla mixed in it's strange but thankfully after a while it does stop smelling and by after a while I mean it's after the initial application so like maybe 30 seconds the smell and everything will be gone and the taste takes a little while you kind of have to wait for it to get down to the drier down stage but then it doesn't taste like anything, so that's nice. I personally really, really ended up liking these. These are definitely gonna be a personal preference kind of thing, like most makeup here, but I hope, if anything, my review was helpful so you could kind of see whether or not this is going to be a product that you're gonna like. If anything, if you're a lipstick enthusiast, I definitely think at least one color is worth a shot, just to kind of see how it is. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I am just gonna go to bed here. I wanna take my makeup off and just watch some Bob's Burgers on Netflix. So I think I'm gonna do that. Like I said before, I hope this review was helpful for you guys. I hope you all are doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!